Hello everybody, today we have very very excited news. So this video will speak about all the type of amplifier that you can use to improve your helium miner. Not for shooting, not for gaming the system, only to improve, especially if you live in an area that you have a difficulty to reach other hotspots which means you have a lot of houses around you, a lot of trees, so many kilometers far away from you. Basically, if you are a lonely wolf, lone wolf, like they say, this will help you to reach them and help you to pay off what you invest. So, as you can see, I invest a lot of money to improve my setup because I'm 20 kilometers far away from other hotspots. Yes, 20 kilometer. So I did my best to improve my setup. And yes, the theory is true. You can put two miners in one location. First of all, this is the amplifier. This is a new type of amplifier made, custom made for helium. This is made for uh, euro frequency 868 megahertz this one it's a preamp that means he receive he witness only and you cannot beacon with him they have he and he not have a bypass but for the next video i will show you how to trick the bypass and you will beacon and witness from him like i said for testing purposes i'm not using this and the third type of from jet vision third type of amplifier and he have built in bypass so he will send sorry try to focus here he will send he have his own antenna and he will boost your signal four times than the normal do i try it and he give me a good result but i still not satisfied I expected more from him. It's too much small the antenna. Only 5 dB antenna. Preamplifier, no bypass. So this one he have his mini USB plug. You can use micro USB sorry to power him. 5 volt. Can use this micro USB 5 volt to power him, or if you want to put him next to antenna, far far away from your miner, you can use this to power him from Jet. It's bias T from Jet Vision. He will give him stable 5 volt. We come back to this. This is a custom made amplifier, B directional amplifier. So he will send beacons and receive with receive beacons. That means he will witness. So he have a bypass built in and he will fit with the regulation of the country. So if you are in Europe and you are scared from the regulation, this will be great solution. I still not put the link under the video because I'm still in the testing phase. He's still performing very well, but I cannot recommend something until I'm sure 100%. I not want you to damage your miner, especially it's hard to get ones these days. I experiment. I watch Sorin video and I was curious how it will work. I buy splitter slash combiner to combine two miners just how like he said to double the earnings but it work very fine but you can use this only if you have no host or no place because this will not make money from this one because when he will send a beacon he come back to him and he will make invalid this one send a beacon go to him and come back to him invalid they will witness from the same antenna. It's behind the window, 5.8 dB antenna. 
So here I take power 5 volt from the miner to give it to the amplifier, bidirectional amplifier. Normally this is supposed to be mounted directly to the antenna and from the antenna come a cable to the miner. But me, I not have at the moment the adapter from SMA to N type male to connect him to the antenna. So I had to put him just like this temporary. Like I said, it's only for testing purposes. I was very curious. I try it, it work. And I hope the video was helpful. Sorry, sorry, sorry for the quality today. I'm trying to use my phone to record and I'm very, very new to this. I just want to share this video with you guys. Maybe someone, of course, a lot of people, they are wondering how to use amplifiers to to get a little bit more in earnings and better signal. Especially in Europe, we have very, very, very weak signal. 868 megahertz is the worst frequency. And the worst part, we have just 14 dBi allowed here. Imagine, you have 14 dBi allowed. In USA, they are very lucky, they have 27 go out from the minor 27 plus 8 dB or 9 dB antenna. Do the math, how many dBs they speak over there. Canada, America, Australia. But unfortunately in EU, we are, we are very, very limited in dB. That's why I was worried. I buy custom made from American company. It cost me a lot. I would give him... I cannot judge him now. This is the simple test 20 km away. I still can get nine witnesses from a 20 km away. I had zero witnesses, now I have nine witnesses. So it's still good. I will take him to the host house and they test him there. He have like 44 hotspots over there. I will see how many hotspots he can communicate and how the quality of the signal. I put everything in outdoor enclosure and test them. It's matter of time until I will come up with the other video to, to share with you the results. So about another video I will make it speaking about the preamp. This is also from the Europe frequency. I not want to show you the brand because I'm not sure it will worth your money or not. I will recommend only if I test it very much. I test it a little bit he not let the TX go away, he just receive. If you beacon, he not crossed. So what I made, basically, I take a cable, basically, I make, I buy IPX cable to, RP, uh, to SMA mail. This will allow me to hook directly from the RF card to the preamplifier to lower the dB losses from IPX to the RPSMA after connector to another connector you will lose a lot of dB just from connectors and cable me I use a trick directly from the RF card directly to the splitter because the splitter already I will lose a lot of dBs from the splitter that's why I use directly cable from the cart. My God, the focus is so horrible. My apologies again. Yeah. This cable, it will save you a lot of dBs. From your cart, directly to your antenna, if it's possible, or from your cart to your amplifier, to the antenna. And this very recommended to hook it directly to the antenna and from the antenna come a long cable. We'll try to not make it too long to your to your uh, miner. And to tell me how I power this, you can power him if you have a long cable, you can power this, put this to your cable, give him a 5 volt from micro USB cable and he will run the power in the Ethernet cable. 
and he will be on sorry to confuse you but I will make another video how to power it just now I want to show you two miners with IPX cable to RPSMA to a splitter from splitter to amplifier and cable to your antenna does it work? yes it works and work very well for the moment I, the big challenge it will be in next video this one it doesn't need this one if you use it next to your miner you will need directly 5 volt cable mini USB you will power your preamp but you will not be able to beacon so you will lose beacons beacons they are very important especially for people who it's not crowded area and you will hurt an 18 person they will not use it they will cannot benefit from your beacon so this is selfish so I not want to recommend it only only if you are willing to do like me me I didn't want to hurt nobody so I buy a bag of adapters the trick is it's very your minor splitter small splitter here a T splitter not use this type of splitter use just this one do not lose so much DB like this he will beacon from this one antenna small one or big on one this one it will be dual enough and from here plug it directly to a big antenna 8 db rack wireless or 9 db miguel this is my recommendation 5.8 doesn't worth it 3 db doesn't worth it and i'm waiting for another amplifier from jet vision from the same company they make a good amplifiers as Sorin said I'm inspired by his videos he's a great great guys he deserves to, uh, to subscribe to his channels he give you really a lot of knowledge so definitely consider to subscribe to his channel or at least keep the notification on and watch his videos he give you a lot of information for free guys the best YouTube channel about Helium so I bought this one for experimenting he come this is his antenna with the amplifier stuck to it so there is no loss between and he work very well I'm curious how to use this one with the bigger antenna but this one is attached you cannot remove it only if you are expert in solding or stuff like this you can do this for my skills this is way above and this one unfortunately he not have inside him something like this to power him or a cable so you have this one he come with the bias T I cannot show you here because it's my in my host place and this host really have horrible location I had to buy this for him just to improve the with the the witnessing power I had he was performing 0 0.6 per day helium per day after the POC 11 all my miners they go down so all my neighbors their power go down so I was, my miner had very difficulty to witness so I bought this to improve the witnessing power I was making 0 0.6 per day I start to make 0 0.1 per day sometimes not even 0 0.1 per day that's why I had to buy this 300 euros guy this is not cheap stuff believe me these things here very costly this testing <laughs> very expensive I even buy power supply external I buy some stuff to measure amps and voltage just to not make mistakes to not burn I had to modify it I buy micro USB cables I use it with the cable here to split try and errors try and errors this one he take 5 volt directly to his a lot of experimenting so in future videos like now we spoke two miners splitter one amplifier 
this amplifier why you need to use him with this splitter because this splitter you will use like 3.5 dpi this is a lot of loss when you use an amplifier i will try to help you to recover the losses the losses from connectors the losses from the splitter from the other connector from the column cable in the end it will be kind of even especially with people who's looking to put two hotspots in one location to double their earnings my recommendation if you want to use splitter you have to use this if you don't need to use splitter don't use amplifier because he will doesn't make sense to use him as an extra in my opinion does it help yes he help a lot later i will give it an extra test to the host home and see how much he will bring if he bring very well i put you the link and very important it's custom made you must to mention if you are in eu any country from europe you must to tell to the company that you need 868 megahertz for europe like this they will put your saw filter that he will work for europe because originally he worked in 9 megahertz 900 megahertz for us and canada you must to mention when you order this from jet vision they are out of stock they need in the end of february they will be there so i'm curious to buy another one without the antenna for testing reasons also yeah, it's a lot of money for testing, but this is my pleasure to play with this kind of things to answer my question that they keep buggering in my head until I answer them. If if you want to improve without using no amplifier, no filter, my recommendation, first things, reduce the dB losses. Buy this is 15 centimeter, one five, 15 centimeter. This is too long. I prefer if it was 10 cm or 5 cm. This depends how you want to use it. I, I, I only find this in Amazon with 15 cm. IPX2. You must buy it for RPSMA or directly to your antenna. It depends with what you want to connect in. Not use this one. Because you will use IPX to RPSMA from RPSMA another cable and you will lose a lot. Try to reduce your losses, directly hook your cart directly to the antenna and use shortest cable as possible. This is, will give you a lot of dB, a lot of power to your antenna without buying a lot of, lot of expensive equipment. But if you're still in the mode to buy amplifier, then amplifier with bias t and long cable and put it high as possible if too much high in the sky more than 13 meter in the sky use 3 db less than 30 25 20 use 5.8 and the best things from 0 meter to 10 meters like sorin said 9 9 db miguel it would be great but if you live in area and you are only there like me <coughs> unfortunately i don't have access to the roof that's why i'm using my window miguel uh, how he say yagi antenna 24 db or 23 db watch his videos and he will explain even more directional antenna it will be better solution for your situation uh, for more questions please put them under the video i see you in next video I will connect this one and I will show you how it work, how to use the bypass trick and I use it before it work. Now I, I remove my setup just to test the second one I was very excited about. I will put it back and I will show you how this work with one minor. I can use it even with split or two minors as you like. It's very, very flexible. This one is in my host, another home. I put it because I have seven miners in every home in different houses five they already installed two of them they still here for experiment reasons only i will install them this week hopefully to their house home yeah like i said antenna with this one does it worth it not really buy it without his own antenna 
and put big 8 dB or 9 dB McGill or Rack Wireless. McGill or Rack Wireless. I already ordered two McGill 9 dB antenna. I'm very, very excited about them because Soreen he used 9 dB antenna. But at the same time, I'm worried because she's very heavy. And me, I use outdoor enclosure from Rack Wireless. They recommend 5.8 dB antenna. But me, I use I already 8 dB on top of it. He worked very well. But from Rack Wireless, the 8 dB is not very heavy. Now I'm curious about the Rack. If the outdoor enclosure can hold on my the newest 9 dB Miguel antenna. Well, there is one way to find out. is by testing. Always test, test, test before you install one time. Because when you install it, it's very hard for me to go to the host home and play. That's why I play in my home test multiple things make sure that 100% they are working and hope for the best when I install them to them believe me I'm very very crazy about helium not just you I will show you something private sorry for the mess here look I buy splitters this is for the outdoor enclosure. I'm like the Christmas guy. I buy a lot of things from Amazon. Outdoor enclosures. This is for experimenting reasons for put the cabling. I power line. They are 100 euros per one to provide Ethernet connectivity. They are MIMO technology. It's not any power line. This is from TikTok. They give you very stable internet. And not not get stressed by electricity like other one other cheap ones the other cheap ones i will make another video to speak about the power lines because i buy even from tp link a little bit cheaper but he go down on me <sighs> sorry and you lose one day without internet it was shitty and i buy the second one is double the price 100 euro so he worked very stable, knock on the wood, all my five miners, they work with this type of power lines. The advantage of the power lines, they, they give you unstable internet without having to drill in the, your host home. For example, I install all of my, my other hotspot in balcony. In the balcony, they have power source outside the balcony and from there, I take my internet without drilling their balcony, without putting hole because here in Germany, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned I'm in Germany. Here in Germany, the rent, people who rent, they have very, very limited things you can do with your home. Don't screw in his wall. Don't make him holes. Look at me. Even me, I not make hole. I put very thin cable. I know he lost DBs just because I not have the permission to drill anything in the wall that's why you have to think outside the box and try to find solution how to put your antenna outside because if i put here this will block my signal yeah i show you a lot of things a lot of personal stuff like i said this is for testing reasons i use this only because i lose a lot of signal and he was curious to be honest to see how much he bring and now he bring me nine witnesses this is decent from nine 20 kilometers but i'm curious how much money he will bring me if i put it in crowded area if he bring me good i will recommend it if he not bring me good better not buy and buy an extra miner because extra miner better than amplifier in my opinion but Never know until you try. Now we are testing. If the test results will be in next video or after next video, because the next video will be speaking about this installation. I can show you even how to open a miner. This is Rack V2. They are the best, in my opinion, the best miners. They are very small, very compact. They not have dashboard, but who cares? Put your mind on his online, this means his work. He not online, be patient and finish. 
not too much tinkering yeah use this one to reduce your cable losses I had I had I already made video how to change your memory card for rack minus here the sticker you remove it put a new memory card I put max and there is memory card because they are the best cost me 14 euros for zero per card have 128 giga, uh, gigabyte since I put to them they not go offline anymore knock on the wood until now everything working very well I not want to use fast memory card and go offline with the time I use max endurance this is the uh, the advantage of max endurance you can write and how they say read and write on them thousand times and they can live for for long compared to normal SD card they live 25 times longer than normal SD cards yeah this is a lot of a lot of information for future videos I already make a video about outdoor enclosure I still not publish it a video how to change your SD card a video now about two miners with splitter with outdoor uh, with uh, bi-directional bi-directional amplifier this one unfortunately I didn't have the time to because I was to witness uh, to guest house and I make it very quickly I didn't want to waste any time I was very excited and didn't have time to make a video about it but it's very simple guys enter an amplifier put it outside one pinky cable come inside your home put him the bias T bias T directly to your miner 5 volt here and done and wish for the best that you get more earnings this is from Amazon back of connectors really saved my life because in the middle of the night you try to play oh my god you need the pin you need this this is doesn't work this you can adjust this is high quality not the cheapest one be sure to not buy cheap because if you buy cheap you get what you pay for yeah this is power adapter you can try any type of adapters here but i still not use it i go the old school cut plug here i use how do you say matrix to see how many volt and many amps where is the plus where is the minus because you don't want to play with the plus and minus you have to be careful with this stuff to not burn your expensive equipment well i'm sorry the video is already tall i not want i have a lot of information to say it but i not want to bore you i will make it short videos every video sp speak about specific subject if you like as usual as you like the video like subscribe Put your question under the comment when i have time i will answer you if i didn't answer i'm sorry i'm a husband i have a daughter i'm very occupied look how guys i make you the video <laughs> i'm very excited just to share this information with you believe me it's hard to find time to make this type of videos i make it just for pleasure not for money not for nothing i not need money from youtube only for pleasure and big big thank you for soaring for inspiring me to do this type of videos inspiring me to play with my miners and i'm willing to buy even more miners yes the market is down but who knows maybe in the future he go up again hopefully he go up again and i recover the cost until now i still not roi on my investment really i still not roi on my investment but who cares they will hopefully in the future I will recover what I invest but for now this is for my hobby and the same time I'm providing coverage there is data there is coverage anyone here can use scooter or his dog or anything he will thanks to me and thanks to helium he will have coverage here well enough with talking see you in the next video about this one bye like and subscribe please <laughs> if you want to get notified in the time love you all peace